Good afternoon, my favorite airport, Key West, Florida, Kilo Echo Yankee Whiskey. Let's go outside and see the weather. Oh, cloudy. We've been flying from here to Nassau. Bahamas. Uh, we're gonna take off runway 9 which is uh, that direction from here all the way straight line we're gonna land at uh, Arnav 09 in uh, NASA that's uh, Mike Yankee November November okay let's go to the cockpit and start our ground service GPU connect and we're gonna put GPU on the bus you can hear the bar uh, I'm gonna switch the battery first okay the batteries and our emergency lights and then put GPU on the bus so now There's nothing to worry about the power or so we're gonna arm our initial okay align proper way our initial navigation inertial navigation system so this is the one that is aligned and we're gonna do some position enter some points let the computer know where we're flying how we're flying the straight line is all beautiful there's no turns there's nothing just go up initially seem brief ask me to fly 310 but it's not because of scenery it's only because short flight I don't want to go that high so I put uh, number 210 so be two two, 21,000 feet and uh, I'm gonna put some lights here and here so we are in this area, we're going to put my squawk code, which is 4737. Good, and it's going to be out off. And uh, so far here on this panel, it's OK. We're not going to do any tests today because I just want to go a little bit faster so FMC we have a new data nav data that is uh, available from March 28 to April 24 okay so we go pass in it and the reference our, our airport uh, is Kilo Echo Yankee Whiskey right here so this is our last position also but for navigation purposes I'm gonna set IRS position as GPS left so I copy the scratchpad and paste over to this problem so now we go to root QS is already here runway is going 09 and we're flying to monkey Mike monkey <laughs> Mike Yankee could be monkey November November if you make a monkey from that that is is great the 
this is just my number okay and uh, first page first point we're gonna fly the runway heading to burpee bravo uniform romeo papa yankee we're gonna fly to good cell <coughs> Gr growth uniform charlie Sorry, I'm losing my voice. <coughs> Echo Lima. Good. Next point is drawn. Delta Romeo. Romeo Oscar. Whiskey November. Whiskey November. Good. And then we're flying to Fowey. Which is Fox Rot Oscar Whiskey Echo Echo And from that point we fly to Nico November India Charlie Kilo Oscar And from that area we're gonna take the the runway 9 in uh, Nassau so it's RNAV 09 and uh, uh, well it's supposed to be Jobib why I don't have a Jobib okay so we're gonna go root activate execute and see how it's looking Zero fuel weight, 55.6 Reserves 2.9 is always the same Contest index the uh, uh, Roulette, 19 uh, We have 7.6 fuel on board Here And flight is 210 Cruise wind at top of this uh, climb is 293 24 knots Gently breeze uh, I see deviation is plus 10 Nice and warm Okay, we accept that And one limit uh, Ha! So, because this runway is short runway, and it's already hot, we're just gonna go 35, and we're not gonna derate the engine any lower than that, uh, because I want to not to hit the fence. So, take off. We're gonna go flat for some reason. I couldn't do 10, but we'll see. No, I got 10. So flaps 10, CG is 24.1, 3 point and a half, okay, trim. And V speed, VR, and V2, good. We're gonna set the trim to three and a half which is right now at four so three and a half is like right there okay and uh, it will be all on this page gonna go overhead panel and uh, put a window heat on first test test good and then we will uh, put your damper on we don't have any fuel in the center tank so we're gonna put all the pumps in this tank we're gonna put uh, 
hydraulic sun and we're gonna hold on with APU uh, for now I'm gonna do the fly direct uh, to one zero and uh, the sand is about 30 so we're gonna leave it at zero I'm gonna f go flight control test which uh, we're gonna go spoilers up spoilers down full right full left full down full up and the rotor Okay, move some cables here. I'm not gonna be hitting the cables. Okay, full left and full right. And look at the wheel. Also turning. That's good. Go inside. Some minimums at two thirty-five. But the weather is good, so we're not gonna worry too much about two fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, five to thirty-five. RQ. Oh, that's what it is. Let's go here and listen to ATS and QS, which is this number. Key West INTL information whiskey. 20 hundred Zulu weather. 20 Wind 0 080 0 at 11. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 4400 scattered, 6400 broken. Temperature 27, dew point 16. Altimeter 3006. Arriving runway 09, departing runway 09. Advise on initial contact you have whiskey. 3006, which puts us... Okay, good. So that's, that's good stuff. Key West INTL information whiskey. 2000 Zulu weather. Wind 080 at 11. Visibility more than 10. Sky conditions 4,400 scattered, 6,400 broken. Temperature 27, dew point 16. Altimeter 3006. Arriving runway 09, departing runway 09. Advise on initial contact you have whiskey. Thank you for whiskey. So we have this altimeter set. Uh, this is set, the speed, I'm going 155 always, uh, just because, this is flight simulator, uh, this is the lowest speed that you can enter in that window, it's 144, and, uh, we have to remember that it's not 5, but it's 10, the flaps 10 today, okay, so we're going to go legs here, so, no, 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 okay, we cannot zoom out, good, so let's go here, we're going to go to plan mode, and zoom in. Okay, so we go fl flying from 09 runway heading to Burpee. We change Burpee at. Uh, we're gonna fly 078 to Goodsell, to Drone, to Fawi, to Nico. And uh, that looks good. Okay, and we have discontinuity here, so we're just gonna go here. And then, yes, there's a job, so that's nice. We're gonna connect this one 
to this place so we click on job ip it's in the scratch pad and then enter here and then uh, execute that change so now we have a nice flow nothing is uh, not connected anymore so we're going to go uh, step, 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 step. This is here, our mess. Oops. And uh, once again, QS, Goodsell, Drone, Fowey, Nico, and from Nico to Jobib and Molly, and then 17th Tango Hotel Romeo is the point that is somewhere here and then the runway 09 this is Arnav so we have restrictions here so that's what we're gonna do I'm gonna do some uh, rings so fix I put 09 runway in um, NASA. We will go seven miles before a runway, and you see the ring is there. The next uh, ring is going to be 17 miles out, and that's here. That's before desolation point that we have to maintain uh, full flaps and uh, and a speed like 145, something like that. And uh, our top of the sand point, which is our height calculated three times. So 21 times th three, that gives us 63 miles. Let's go 65. 65 miles before we're gonna have another ring. And uh, let's go to legs and see if we can see the, the ring. If not, I'm gonna zoom out. Okay. Good cell, drone, Fowey, Nico. No, we didn't see that, so we're gonna go and change the range to 40 miles and then step it again. Top of climb, just after Good cell. And then top of the sand is early than my ring, so I'm going to use top of the sand. Uh, well, this is just self-awareness ring. I'm just doing it because if I change the, the altitude in the middle and uh, forget to, to follow up properly, that top of the sand point will disappear. So I could fly over. It never happened before, but. I could fly over uh, NASA and we have only 78 7 tons 7.6 tons let's say okay which uh, usable fuel from that is uh, less 3 tons reserve so we are did not take too much extra fuel okay so we're gonna f zoom out and then see what is going on here we move from plan to map again we're gonna leave at 40 and uh blah 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 blah, blah. okay so this is qs uh, vor which we don't really need but let's keep it for now so i started here so we have uh i disregard that we have the Minimum speed at 155, and we have a runway heading that is 09. Na, 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 na. I read, wrote down somewhere. Key West. Runway heading is. do 273 plus minus 2 which was just 
looking for runway 9. I got it, 93. Runway heading, 93. 90, no, the other way. So it, it is going to align with this line here, hopefully. Yeah, roughly. Yes. Well, 94 is more like it, but uh, just leave it as it is. Altitude, we're going to go initially to 5000. thousand feet so this is all set we're gonna uh, switch our flight directors on uh, primary and then secondary arm out of throttle boom move uh, anti-ski to RTO and what else we could start the engine that's what we're gonna do. Well, we're gonna start the APU first, but uh, I'm gonna go with the lights, which they're supposed to be done opposite the other way from the beginning. No, wrong key. This. Let's see if we have a beacon on. Uh, not yet. But navigation lights, yes, there's a green light here, okay, green and a red, and they're steady, and this is our uh, APU, which we have to disconnect, so let's start the APU first, one, two, three, we're gonna wait until becomes available well, come on please just do this so you have exhaust gas temperature EGT is gonna pick up a little bit around this point and then it's gonna go down to this area and then becomes available so when APU is available, I'll switch to um, the APU and disconnect GPU. But we have to go fast from that point because we're gonna use our fuel. Okay, available, available online. So we go quickly disconnect the GPU. Here we don't need a pushback, so we're not gonna do anything. Uh, Avi tab uh, map for those who are not familiar with the navigation from United States, QS Florida. So that's where we are. I'm gonna zoom out to see all Florida. Oh. Okay, and we're flying from this little island to this little island that is NASA Bahamas. Okay, and uh, zoom in again to 11 SK. So, yes, as I mentioned, we're gonna go from uh, runway 9, which is start this direction, and then fly over straight. Good. So, home, and good, we'll look inside, there's no GPU anymore, we're gonna start our engines, we're gonna, let's say, assume that we were clear for engine start, so I'm gonna put the beacon on. And number two, okay, I have a duck pressure here, so number two go to ground. And we're gonna see the rotation. 
So this is N2, is inside the engine, a secondary uh, fan. When this reaches 25, we're going to introduce fuel. So 23, 24, and fuel in, and we look here for EGT peak. Okay, star valve closed, and when EGT marker disappears, I think, because I'm not the pilot, okay, I don't know 100%, I think that's mean that engine is stable and it's okay to go on the bus. So, we're gonna put generator 2 here, I'm gonna put this engine on the bus, and then engine 2 continues. So, in this moment, we're gonna turn our pitot heat on, those are the pitot heat probes, pitot heat probes, no, pitot probe. Pito pro probe, that's what it is. Pito heat is inside heating up Pito probe. Blah, blah, blah. terminology. Okay, doc, so let's look at number two. It's looks like it's rotating. So we go back to overhead panel and uh, we put this one on the ground. That one part outside is the engine and uh, one. That one is giving us. Uh, oops. Okay, I'm gonna go back to good. Again, we seeing EGT peak. And then N1 start rotating faster and faster and faster. So it's blowing those gases away from, from inside the engine. So the EGT peaked and then dropped around this number. So you don't have a marker anymore. We can go to the overhead panel. We put this on the bus. So now APU is done our job. At job. Okay. So, we don't need it, we will say thank you APU, we turn it off. Engine goes, okay, if I can just click on it. Engine goes to continuous. And then we have to turn the packs on, because when you uh, have a packs on right from the beginning, you have not enough pressure to start the engine. So the engine is going to rotate and then stop around like 18% and 2 and it's not going to go any farther. So you want to avoid that. Uh, uh, APU is cooling down. So when it's cooling down we can turn it off, the, the bleed. Because we want to hear this horn. When you turn the engine RPM or throttle up and the plane is not configured for takeoff you're gonna have a warning and because we have a brake on and we don't have a flaps so remember what was that three and a half Okay, something like four, like this. And uh, we're gonna go to flaps now. I already programmed flaps into my yoke buttons, but there is a flap lever right here. Oops, we went too far. And you see those are notches, so normally you take off a 5, but because QS is shorter runway, we're going to take with more flaps. So I put flaps 10. And then uh, this is the indication that flaps are sitting at 10. Actually there are two arrows here, but we only see one. Show. 
now when I move the okay I'm gonna start moving so let's say we were clear for taxing I'm gonna go around and look if there is anything on a runway on a taxiway nope so we go inside and now when I release the brake and I put the throttle up I have no sound Can uh, taxi to runway nine. Looks like I have two sceneries in one spot, so that's why I have double lines. Usually one supposed to take over, but there is some kind of glitch. I don't know if I have to uh, reinstall. But I'm just gonna leave it like this, okay? So what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to turn the light on, taxi light, and run runaway turn off lights for taxing and uh, check the overhead panel yeah damper on pumps on everything here is beautifully done there's no parts on out okay good so we're gonna taxi to our end point which is by the way if you don't want not know ground speed shows here I'm gonna zoom in so this is our ground speed right now okay eight knots uh, we can go a little bit faster because we don't want to waste the whole day. But on a taxiway like this, no more than 20, but 15 would be nice. On turns, around 10. Uh, on apron, around 5. If you have to backtrack on the runway, you can go up to 50. I, that's what I heard. I, I, I'm not sure 100%. Okay. Look where we are here. Which we're gonna go to Taxiway Bravo, that's the last one. And we're passing Charlie right now to our right. about 20 knots so we're gonna reduce our travel in Key West you are my favorite place I never been physically to Bahamas. Knowing me, I would love it because everything tropical, I like it. So what we have here is number nine. We're gonna stop momentarily. Uh, put uh, a brake on. Go outside, which you cannot do in a real plane but we'll 
look if there's anybody on approach. There is no lights, so I don't see anybody. And then uh, see the runway is clear. Runway is clear. And we go inside. We're gonna turn our. Uh, TCAS to TARA, then we go overhead panel, we're gonna put uh, landing lights on, we can turn those lights off, we're gonna put uh, probes on, no probes, uh, strobes, okay, the cabin is secured, strobes Have a good flight. blinking, let's go outside. See now they're blinking. There's one in the back. The strobes are on. Let's go in and uh, put the clock on just to know where. Release the brake. We're gonna go forward a little bit and turn into the runway. Because this plane does not like to turn where speed is slow, I have to go a little bit faster and then start turning. Because if I put wheel zero 09. Approaching zero 09. Runway zero nine. Okay, we don't want to waste too much space behind. So let's say we'll be clearing for takeoff. We're gonna go 40%, stabilize engines, and toga, which we lost out the throttle right there from the beginning. I hate this stuff that's happening. Uh, 
runway 9 is pretty nice runway in uh, in Bahamas so we should not have any problem braking with uh, auto brake number 2 and we're passing uh, 7,000 so Let's go here and then progress goes on this one So to talk up top of climb we have about roughly 20 miles When the VNAV is working, the speed and uh, vertical speed is managed by by computer. If you're doing manual takeoff, you have to do it manually. Sometimes the the V speed is shooting up very. Ladies and gentlemen, please continue to observe the passing seatbelt sign until the captain has switched it off. We do recommend for your confidence and safety that you keep your seatbelt securely fastened throughout your flight. There is a call bell, reading light and fresh air vents in the panel just above your head and we'd like to remind you that this is a strictly non-smoking flight and all toilets are fitted with smoke detectors. We invite you to sit back, relax and enjoy your flight with us. So we passed 10,000 feet. Uh, this is the differential pressure and the cabin is climbing and uh, everything else looks good. There is no light, there is no problem. Okay. We are on the way to Goodsell right now. About 10 miles from Goodsell, where it's 9.3. Good. We can put our gear into off. And do another flyby. Everything looks cool. And the view Flora Keys down below. And uh, just go, go outside. Connecting all the all the keys. Right here. There's the bridge. This is marathon. Let's go in because we will have to switch pressure to standard. Okay, and for that part I will click on the this one. And I'm not going to be... But here I go like this and click in the center by zooming in because a few times I click on a mark, I don't know, border of this two and uh, this starts rolling down which wasn't pleasant, okay? So for now I'm zooming in to confirm that I press the button and not the uh, edge up. Thousand to go. Good, thousand to go. So what we can do is go our PA system and uh, where we level just momentarily right here. Captain speaking, we've just reached our cruise altitude and the signal sign is now off. 
feel free to move around the cabin, but we do ask if you are in your seat that you do keep your seatbelt loosely fastened in case we do experience any unexpected turbulence. Otherwise, invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. Flight is not too long. So... Ladies and gentlemen, we have a passenger Escobar. Passenger Escobar. This is in regards to a special meal. Would you please identify yourself to a flight attendant? Passenger Escobar, please. Lucky Escobar. He ran away from... Uh, no, I think he's dead. The real Escobar that I'm thinking about. The Colombian, Colombian uh, drag lord. He's sneaking into every flight and asking for a special meal. So, we're cruising level right now. We pass Marathon to our uh, left, which is down here. That's the airport. And uh, we can go... You can drive your car to NASA, but you can take a ferry. Just uh, gonna be funny. Uh, next one is drone. It's 17 miles. some clouds on the horizon wind is uh, pushing us south wind is 005 we were told the wind is gonna be 302 which is probably close but not close enough and it's 43 my speed according to simple was 20 knots. Well, well, well. Maybe the, the, the wind uh, was calculated only around QS and now it's changed, so we take this as a change wind. That's it. much to 101 mile to top of the sand which is right here and we're gonna reach roughly at 2244 Zulu and this uh, clock the portion is in the Zulu time Zulu is uh, mean uh, Greenwich time So we have 20 minutes, not even that. So I'm gonna use VNAV again to descend, and uh, when we look at our. We have to be above 2000 feet at Jobby, so this is what we're gonna do. But nothing will happen right now if you move your uh, altitude to you can do it just before or or now okay 
I'll do set. I'm gonna go to FMC. I'm gonna enter our approach. Okay, we're gonna land with uh, roughly this. This is good. So there's not a lot of uh, fuel that we're gonna burn. So roughly 30, 45. Happy with that. Uh, we can also go to destination and enter the, the forecast, which was uh, QNH is the same 3006, 30.06. This here we have flight level 200. Uh, to one level 150 and 100 and we can put some winds 302 and 20 302 and 20 here uh, 327 327 12 and uh, 10,000 feet we have 0 to 7, zero to seven. at 11 knots ok, execute that and then uh, we we'll go back to legs so next point is 62 miles away is Foley Seven, eight miles. So we're gonna pass forward in the sun. So out. So number two. This can give us that nice view. We go one flyby again. Beautiful Caribbean Sea or Atlantic Ocean. We are all lost our islands, they're already in the shadow here. They turn like this. If, if we see there's no cloud, you could see Florida, but uh, Right now we're flying into the ocean. When I click on the map, this is US 1, that's the highway, goes to Key Largo and turns into mainland. But we're going this direction. Yes, we are over the water. View from the window. Beautiful blue water. And the uh, right side. It's open air, open ocean basically, because we're facing right now away from, in the distance far away is Cuba. Okay, let's go inside. Because I don't like to be too far, too, too long away from the cockpit. Just because strange things are usually happen. Most is that auto throttle sometimes have a tendency to to disconnect for no reason, and uh, I have no clue why. I wish it's working the way it's supposed to, but uh, yeah, 
It's not always working. The only thing, descending on VNAV I don't like it because it's, it's erratic, so sometimes dive very quickly and then stays level and then speed up and then slow down and engine surges. 118.7 So we're gonna go here To listen to 80s 118 we'll see if the pressure is still 3006 was in Key West. this view uh, showing a wing and engine it's kind of outside but it's not noisy like you're outside to Fowey and then 38 miles to top of the sand which we're supposed to see that point already on the other display which is here but for some reason it's not showing full 40 miles it's, there's a uh, shadow here somewhere so momentarily it's going to come out here. You see, it's coming out from the shadow. So this is our top of the sand point. I know everybody who's looking at this right now says, oh, I should put this number at min and then descend a little bit slower. It really does not matter that much. I'm talking about uh, this setup right here. One forty five is okay.
will have 143. So there is a big margin now. When uh, I will take over probably around 1,000 feet. Hopefully I will see the puppy lights on runway 9 in Nassau. They say that the course is 98, so we're going to put 98 in it. And we'll see how the VNAV uh, will behave. Hopefully it's not going to dive like crazy. Uh, let's do vertical speed, okay? So we're gonna go like vertical speed and uh, like this. And, uh, Hello again from the flight deck. We are just commencing our descent. Looks like we'll be landing ahead of schedule and the weather conditions are looking good at our destination. We'll be touching down in less than 30 minutes, so do make your way back to your seat. I'm going to use gentle descent speed. If you see the previous uh, video, I was... This is the San Vinov path. We're gonna adjust this according to well Nico is 49 miles away. Roughly this is just the, the height we're supposed to be at. If we're a little bit below that's better, if we're a little bit above that's okay. We need to do this number. Okay. So And we have the sand speed at 18, so there is no crazy dive. Okay, we're going to switch back to... Standard. Remember, I'm zooming in because I had problems before. We now right now have 3006 which was uh, when I took off from the US uh, the matter in NASA said that the pressure is the same so we're just gonna leave it if you hear uh, it is and it says something else then we adjust but right now we're going towards Nikko that is point on the island uh, don't ask me which island but that's Bahamas also we'll hopefully we'll see the island It's cloudy, but there's no rain, so we don't have to avoid uh, weather or do anything drastic. This is just a straight flight all the way to to NASA. Coming at 14,000, uh, which we're gonna accelerate to 250. 
go to 48 just to be and then we're gonna go with flaps spoilers a little bit up where you see spoilers and uh, up three by 10,000 we're gonna reach 250 13,000 With this descent speed Minus 1800 It is easy to slow down Okay, 1500 is even better But when you have like Higher descent speed, vertical speed It's very hard to, to, to lose the speed at the same time so even spoilers extended are not doing a great job. So that's it for spoilers. I think they're, they're down. We may have a warning here when, uh, but but we'll see later. So now uh, we're gonna turn lights on. It is a little bit early, but 1,000 1, feet. Already nice. And we're gonna reach our altitude by. next point which is too early so I'm gonna go up a thousand go shallower okay we'll see where we are Nico, that's that's no no no. This is the next point, which is okay, I guess. And this is our vertical VNAV path. It's showing us that we are descending too low, 4,000 too low. But you know, I rather do this than crazy dive. Okay, doc. So we move this. To 40, I'm gonna fly over Nico, and you see this is Nico is 20,000, no, 20 miles away roughly, and we are at, at 9,000. So well, we have to be at eight, almost nine. So we're fine. Okay. And uh, see what happens because we have still a lot of room to to decelerate to to slow down. So maybe I did this a little bit prematurely, but I like to be always ahead of a plane than behind because if you are ahead it's much better it's more comfortable it's like smooth ride if you're rushing through you may forget something like lights setting up the auto brake on or we're set here we're gonna put uh, seat belts on and put ignition to continue engine handling intl NASA, information x-ray, 
2100 Zulu weather. Wind 060 at 12 variable 030 to 080, visibility 10. Sky conditions 3000 scattered, temperature 24, dew point 17. Altimeter 3006. Arriving runway 09, departing runway 09. Advise on initial contact you have X-ray. Okay, X-ray is about an hour old. But the pressure is still the same, so that's what is important. And uh, arriving runway Linden 09. Lindenfindling INTL, NASA, information X-ray. 2100 Zulu weather. Wind 060 at 12 variable 030 to 080, visibility 10. Sky conditions 3000 scattered, temperature 24, dew point 17. Altimeter 3006. Arriving runway 09, departing runway 09. Advise on initial contact, you have X ray. Thank you. So we have X ray and current altimeter is 3006, which is okay. And we're slowing down a little bit which that's fine because we're gonna reach the altitude a little bit before and uh, I could go more shallow to zoom in This is job it and we have to be 2000 so we're 17 miles away with that rate of descent which is okay. Easy. And you see the speed is dropping nicely. Everything is is cool. The next point is going to be sixteen hundred. All of a sudden you have a wind that is turning and then we're gonna have a f crosswind, you see? So that's how weather works, it's 57 and they said it's gonna be... Uh, we'll see what happens. Temperature is above freezing right outside. I'm going to go 180. Of the island, but we're not going to see much because we're flying in a cloud. Hopefully, we're going to clear the clouds before. They said uh, the clouds were at 3000.
increase the range to and then 4000 we're breaking off the clouds huh. on and just continuously and seat bales on. Good. We have auto brakes and we have a uh, spoilers arm. We're coming to 180 which is this speed. miles away from Java. That is long way to to fly. We slow down a little bit too early, but that's that's okay. I said I'd rather be early than than late. Thousand to go. Okay, thousand to go. It's gonna keep 180. Gonna put flaps five. And start slowing down. Twenty five hundred. Still don't see the island. But we are less than uh, 20 miles away from the island. That's 17 miles is the ring. I'm gonna put flaps 5. Go 175. But I'm not having the big surges. Jabib is at 2000 and Mali is going to be 16. So from that point to this one we have to lose uh, about 400 feet, which is not a lot. Then I put next set of flaps.
so for miles I don't see the airport yet but it's a little bit this way so if I go still I don't see the airport yet Switch to the next point momentarily. Seven miles, I'll put the gear down. This is the island. Okay, I can see the runway is far, far away. Feet stabilized, Mr. Birch altitude set. Flaps full. Approaching zero nine. Puppies. Four hundred. Three 
100. Approaching minimums. Two hundred. Minimums. Continue. One hundred. Tank rate. Tank rate. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Long landing. Ten. Long landing. Six thousand feet remaining. Nobody in. Flying. There's nobody in flying. So let's go inside. Approaching. Three, two. to this airport many times, virtually of course, so that's why I kind of know where I'm going, and uh, we can go, we yeah, will go to terminal. Terminals to our uh, right coming up.
full. So there are only one spot available, which is uh, all the way to to the right. Okay, never been there. So let's see. Let's stop here and see how we can get there. This is the point from somewhere when this road clears. Okay, we have to turn. Okay, okay, good. So we have to turn towards uh, right, right now. I usually park somewhere there, but you see that all the gates are busy. This is B27. Okay, we are arrived. If you're on, and uh, engines off. Press the wrong button, I'm sorry. Okay, doc, so pitot heat could be off, and we have hydraulics coming up. As Let's see what's the. how did we land? Okay, we're gonna fly with it. No, we're gonna go this way and toggle. Okay, click this. And now toggle the replay mode. And we're gonna go out and go a little bit up.
before okay a little bit more and a little bit up and maybe tiny little bit up okay <laughs> push us more towards the runway so I was aiming towards the wind but the wind is is not that strong we don't have a wind again but should be more on center line that this turn will not be so dramatic but we arrived in one piece and that's what is more important the local time now let's go here to this clock this is totally wrong this looks like a local time This is Zulu weather, Zulu weather, <laughs> Zulu time. Oh my god, getting all mixed up. And uh, I, I'm missing one hour, but it looks like this is local time. But uh, how to go to local time? I 
according to me, it's supposed to be 1709. Not, uh, but whatever, maybe Bahamas they have a different time. I think it's three hours from my time. But I'm not sure if they change from uh, winter to, to daylight saving or not. So that's why I'm kind of confused right now. And I'm not going to be authority about time. on my <laughs> excuse me UTC is uh, right now 2323 because we are running this backwards but that's about right this so we just leave it Almost all for everybody who is watching and enjoying please click thumbs up button and uh, if you have a question please uh, drop me a comment I would love to hear from you because my goal is to basically show everybody who is in the stage that they want to fly, they want to buy uh, X-Plane 11 or different simulator, but I really cannot stress much that X-Plane 11 is superior to, to everything else out there. Uh, two factors, money and uh, the, the re realism. Uh, maybe the other flight simulator, which I'm not going to mention the name, is a bit better graphics and has uh, planes that are more detailed. But to me, uh, a Zebo mode 737-800, which I'm flying right now, is one of the best planes ever and Zebo is working constantly improving that, that that airplane so when you download the version it's gonna be flying like a real aircraft and this is not from me other people who are flying real aircraft and fly Zebo they confirm okay they confirm that this is the best thing out there and you don't have to spend money, you have all everything available. Not money on a weather engine, not money on uh, sceneries. You could, but it's only make it pretty, but basic is all there, okay? Uh, when we fly to scenery that I purchased, that we have a uh, moving bridge, right here or it's more enhanced so yes it's, it's, it's more fun but then you have to spend money and then sometimes like I bought uh, another Florida airport Fort Lauderdale and uh, something is not right uh, tracks are half buried in, in the pavement plane is okay but uh, 
I, I don't know what to do with it. I just don't like the way it looks. Uh, yep. So that was... Busy, busy, busy airport. And, uh, when I arrive to one airport, I usually fly from that airport. So I have two choices, continue in Bahamas, oh, the Caribbean, I mean going to south, but it's going to be two hour flight and I don't know if I want to do it, let's say fly to Dominican Republic, uh, or fly up north to towards Canada. <laughs> Well, we'll see. Canada is where I'm from. I live on the west coast. This is beautiful Ryanair that is flying with me all over. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And hopefully, see you soon next time. I'm gonna stop right here. Take care and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.